G'day guys and welcome to Farming Simulator 2017. Uh, this is a game I recently bought on Steam Summer Sale and um, yeah I've finally got it installed um, and I really liked Farming Simulator 2015 so I thought you know why not give 2017 a crack and um, I'm noticing a few things here and there and um, it's a really cool game. I've already uh, I've already started um, planting some crops, um, so this isn't the first time I've played it. Um, I started, uh, well I've started with uh, fields where you start off uh, in, uh, in the map Goldcrest, Goldcrest Valley with tw fields 12, 14 and 15 and what I've done is I've pretty much there was nothing on the fields I've cultivated the fields and I've planted uh, canola on the 14 and 15 and uh, soybeans on 12 uh, the reason being is the price of soybean and canola are quite high especially canola so, I really want to get that, sorry, especially um, soybeans, um, I really want to get that field harvest as soon as it's ready, before the price starts dropping down. I've already sold um, uh, all the soybeans out of my storage in my silos. So, um, yeah, just waiting for my fields to be ready, I think. I think I'm going to harvest this one. Um, I don't know if I should wait for it to all be orange, but I mm, don't know if it matters really. I've turned off weather, uh, weathering crops um, because it's just a pain. And like, if you if you've got all these fields and you're st sticking in time to getting them prepared, and and you know, and then you go to harvest one and it's withered, so that's not very fun a lot of time wasted so I've turned it off for that reason um, <laughs> all right so I think I'm going to I'm gonna wait for the fields to be completely orange before I harvest because um, I think you get better quality crops I'm not sure um, so I need to sell some eggs to the neighbours picked up some eggs but apparently you sell them you go around to the houses or something like that so maybe we can do that I'll go to Mary's farm can we visit I have no idea how to... Yeah, 
Okay, so I've started off in the default uh, Golden Crest Valley map. Uh, it's, it's easy, it's simple, it's the default one, and I just really wanted to jump straight into it. And that's by field, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so. Um. I did try some other maps. I actually tried the De, Tori Italiana, the one that won the mod contest award. Um, but it just had a few um, slight issues, like the prices for selling crops. Um, most of it, most of them were zero. You couldn't even sell anything or get anything from harvesting. So it's like, what the point? What's the point in um, you know putting effort into that farm if you can't even get any money from selling crops? So um, and also some fields weren't numbered, so I wasn't too sure whether you could even buy those fields and plant anything. Enter. What was that? B. How the hell do you sell eggs? Oh, pick up. This is a pretty cool feature as well. I like it from FS17. Yeah! Just might take this. Oh, it's too heavy. So, how the bloody hell do you sell eggs? So, it says in here you go to help, you go to um, animals, chickens. If you want to sell eggs, you have to collect them manually, which I have done so, and sell them to selected households. Selected households. I guess not every house you can sell to. So, which houses can you sell to? Oh, that's my truck. Sheep pasture. Well, I tried Mary's farm. <laughs> oh, maybe you do it. Oh, so this is how you buy animals. Because you can't buy animals from the store when you press P, because there's no animals. So you actually have to go. Oh. So can... Oh, so look at that. Sell. Oh. I can't sell anything. Um, okay, well, let's go and find another place. So that was an animal dera, cow pasture. Let's go. Mm. 
Um. Bloody hell. Maybe the bakery needs eggs. Maybe we can try the bakery. No, oh, what's that? No, it's a pinch. If you guys know how to sell eggs to shops, let me know in the comments below. And because um, I just have no idea why. <laughs> okay. Right. So you want to get this bad boy set up for this field here. Oh, and this is the cool thing about this map as well, is you can drive trains. Beep, beep, beep. Okay. And strops is another thing that's cool. And I've noticed about F17. Go ahead and get this train up ready. I've also got a few mods installed. I've got the t is it Tatra Phoenix? Tatra. I think that's it. Eight by eight. In the Volvo FH16, which is a flatbed, and I've got a few tractors: John Deere 7430, and a pretty unique-looking one. What's it called? A Roland. Pretty weird looking thing. Looks pretty cool. And um a few trailers and stuff. And I like how you can lease stuff on this, it's quite cool. Really a little bit short of money, you can't buy things that you need, you can just lease them for a price, but Okay, let's have a look. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and harvest this. Um, 
what I do is because I'm short of money, I'll just do it myself. So let's go ahead and um, start this thing up. So I started off the game with like 20, 20k, um, spent a bit, probably been down to like 8 grand, and back up again. So I pretty much only made like 2 grand, It's <laughs> pretty shit, but... As I progress further into this game, I will make more money. No idea turning radius on this. Get that little bit there. Why not?
Okay, there we are guys, I've finished that field of canola. Um, and now I'm going to chuck it in here. Oh, come on. So that took about 20 minutes or so. Half an hour. Okay, that trailer's full. So we'll go and sell this. We'll let's we'll have a look at the price first, maybe. So, canola. Yeah, I guess we want to go to Goldcrest Pacific Grain, and then we can sell that. Or we could store it for a better price. Um, but I kind of need the money, so I think we'll just go and sell it. So let's go to our map here, and we want to go to Goldcrest Pacific. Oops. So we just need to do a U-turn, go out there, head up there, and that's where it is. Okay. So I've got a PS3 controller uh, running with DS3. So it's it recognises that well the settings are Xbox controller layout. Um, I was actually having a trouble at one point um, because I couldn't understand why my fertilizer um, fertilizer attachment wasn't spraying and I kept dropping it and it was because I was pressing X on the PS3 controller which is A on the Xbox 360 controller which is attach and detach and I was attaching and detaching and I couldn't figure out why because you press LB and then you press X to turn on the fertilizer and I kept and I thought X on the PS3 controller <laughs> it was so confusing uh, but I, I eventually figured it out and um, laughed it off it was uh, a stupid moment. I have a feeling that I'm on the wrong side, so I've gone this side. Um. Yeah, I really like the sound of these tractors in game. They, they sound quite grunty. I really want to find a McCormick tractor. They're quite popular here in New Zealand. And I remember one on the farm I used to live on. They're pretty cool tractors. So I think this is the selling point here. Just line it up. There's unload. We'll just check. Yep, Gold Crest Pacifics, and that's the one that sells canola for $1,347. Okay, let's unload. Cool, so we just made 10k from that load, that harvest. Um, well, actually, we still got some in the lift in the harvester, so we'll still be getting more, maybe 5 grand more. So we'll go back and um, get another load and um, 
sell it. Although we don't have any in our silo. But, I mean the price is still, well what's the price now? It's gone down a little bit, but, oh no it was 34 wasn't it? 1,334, so it's, it's gone up, $4 or so. So I actually went out and bought a uh, WD Western, Digi Western Digital um, HDD, three terabytes, and it's all uh, installed on my computer. Um, so I'm quite happy now, and um, I can record for as long as I want, as big a file as I want. And, um, which means more recording and more videos. So I'm quite stoked. And um, it's so nice having that much, that amount of storage on your computer. You just feel like so free. You know, you've got massive files in there. But I'm not, obviously. I'm going to regulate it and make sure I. Um, you know, because once you render a video, you say you've got a recording file size, video size of like um, 100 gigabytes, 1 terabyte or something like that. Once you render it down, it comes to like 5 gigabytes or something like that, or 3. So, obviously you de delete the original recording, and um... Just have a same same video, just at a lower lower file size. So it doesn't really matter how big a size, bigger file size of recording, because it's just going to get deleted anyway. So. we got here we got half yeah so we're gonna get about five grand from this which is okay because well I really want to buy a fertilizer um, fertilizer dispenser
almost at 40. Which is also a pretty good harvest. So we got 15k out of that. 16 probably. Um, yeah, so that's awesome. Um, we'll go ahead and buy that. Um, go ahead and buy that fertilizer dispenser. These trailers are the worst to park. Um, chuck it over in that shit over here. Here we go. Um, So we'll get our blue tractor here, and we'll um, we'll go buy our fertilizer spreader. So the small one will do fine. Can't do any upgrades or anything. So we'll buy that, and uh, we'll go pick it up. Now, I don't want to go on a shopping spree and end up spending all my money because um, I will need some money for to hire workers so I'm going to leave enough for that Work, Hiring workers is pretty good um, pretty handy for all the mundane stuff like cultivating and plowing um, but it does come at a cost. My brother was saying he doesn't really like this map. He said, oh my god. Wrong button. He said it was the shittest default map that they came out for FS17. And it's a, it's a right map. I I kind of like it actually. Um, I kind of like how it's very open and quite big um, and just simple. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is it's American. You got like big truck pickup trucks and American barns and stuff like that. I prefer more of British map or a Europe map with European vehicles and yeah but I like I like the size of the map um, it's big and I 
there's a lot more driving involved, but I do like, with small maps, the um, uh, really like windy roads and like the very um, like bumpy, you know, and it's quite a, a bit of a challenge to to drive. Switch. All right. There we go. Is that fertilizer spreader? We're going to take this and. Um, Add it to our collection. Also, I notice that the pedestrians they um they speak. One was like Aldi Barton, and I was like, what the hell? Don't suppose you got some extra time on your hands to fertilize a field for me? Do you? I totally forgot about my daughter's game tonight today. It's her first time starting in goal. Oh, my wife and my. For two grand. Shit, that field costs so much. Forty six K. Crikey dick. Mm. Yeah, so when you do missions for farmers in their fields, um, you get discounts on their on the purchase price for their fields. So So that's a bail sell point. Well, it looks like that, um, 
soybean is ready for uh, harvesting. Definitely want to get some money from that Denton Bakery. Okay. Let's have a look. Yep. Ready to harvest. Wonder if I should stick some more fertilizer on there because I did it for that stage. It says three stages. Let's have a look at fertilizer. I reckon it's not quite dark blue. Fertilizer spray, so um, I think that's what we'll do. Just refill our fertilizer. Go do some fertilizer. Um, why do I fertilizer? Maybe I can get. Um, So, well, look at this guy. Get him on the cultivator. And you can start cultivating this field. in this field. if we're 
pretty accurate on that. Oh yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright, let's um... Not bad, not bad. <laughs> what I'll do guys is like in the video here. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, this is the first episode of many Farming Simulator 17 videos to come. Um, so next video hopefully we'll be harvesting this field. Soybeans and uh, we'll be selling it. At... Um, at the Denton Bakery. So what I'll do is I'll finish off fertilising this field and uh, next episode we might even do some jobs for farmers and their fields um, to get some you know, respect and to lower the purchase price of their fields. So leave us a like and a comment. Uh, comment what you thought. Comment what you think about Farming Solo 17. Um, just comment anything, really. Just give me some feedback and tell me whether you like the video or not. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.